Hi, Harrison Marsh here, and by here I mean Bath Place Music in Taunton. Uh, Bath Place is my local guitar shop, and they've been very kind to let us take over the whole of their upstairs in their acoustic room, uh, so thank you for them. By the way, if you're local to Taunton, Bath Place is through a little archway, so we are only a few hundred yards from the parade roundabout in the centre of the town. Right, why are we here? Um, the whole point of us doing these videos is to try and answer questions and inform people about guitar. And the most common questions we get are about buying uh, their next guitar or people's first guitar maybe. Uh, so being in a guitar shop seemed the obvious place. Uh, and it's a really important point actually, when you buy a guitar, whether it's your first or your fifth, it's about how that guitar looks and how it feels in your hands and how it sounds and how versatile it is and the job it does. And you can't tell that by looking at a picture online. Um, also, you might have an idea of what you like in your head uh, and actually when you come to play something, it's different from what you expect. Um, I was in here a few months ago playing some really lovely hollow body scratches that sound fantastic in other people's hands, but the necks just don't suit me. I don't find them comfortable to play compared to like a Gibson or a Fender Strat or something. Um, so I think that's a really important point. Also, if we don't support them, our guitar shops uh, won't be here anymore for advice. And so I'm not employed by Bath Place, they are just my local guitar shop, but they do all my repairs and services and I try and support them whenever I can. So, they've let me walk through the shop and pick all of my favourite guitars to talk about. Um, some of these might be real contenders for your first guitar or your next guitar. <laughs> To start off with then is probably my favourite guitar in the shop. Uh, this is a Godin guitar uh, with a single P90 pickup in it and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Really comfortable to play, great sounding thing. But it's probably not your first guitar. Because it's only got one pickup, it's got a really different sound to it than something like a Stratocaster or a, a Les Paul or something. And I think in your first electric guitar, you're probably looking for versatility. A lot of us are trying to sound like classic players. So if you pick it up and absolutely fall in love with the looks and the sound, then there's no reason it couldn't be your first guitar. Uh, but just be aware that it's not quite as versatile as like a Telecaster or something. But it does sound fantastic. Um, interestingly, downstairs is uh, another Godin guitar that's uh, much more of a Stratocaster style that's got several pickups and is a little bit more versatile and that guitar is also absolutely fantastic to play. You don't get much more versatile than a Telecaster. Um, much more conventional, two pickups, quite an iconic, um, albeit like a 72 uh, type Tele. Um, this is in the Squire classic vibe range of guitars. I see students week in, week out with these, and they're always really reliable. They sound great, they're comfortable and easy to play. I've had a couple myself. Um, the Squire range in the classic vibe is, is uh, more affordable than the Godin. There's loads of different uh, variations of strats and tellies and things, um, but they're a really great option for anyone looking for their uh, first guitar. They're really highly recommended from me, um, and I love these sort of black 72 style Telecaster with this pickup combination anyway, so this caught my eye as soon as I walked in. So um, a really versatile first guitar, sounds great, and a little bit less expensive than the go down as well. Right, for anyone looking for something more in the Gibson style vein, I love Gretsch's 
Um, their acoustics are just as good as their electrics. They sang great. Um, and this caught my eye as soon as I walked in, partly because of the Bixby. Um, and actually, how a guitar looks is a really important thing. Uh, if you love the look of it, providing it sounds and feels good as well, of course, you're more likely to pick it up, you're more likely to practice. Uh, so looks are important in buying, particularly your first guitar. Um, they do a range of colours and stuff. We'll put all of the descriptions of these guitars in the uh, description of the video. But I think these are a really strong contender for your first guitar. Again, they're fairly um, affordable because they're made in China um, and really versatile. Uh, they do a version without the Bixby as well, but I just like Bixby's on electric guitars. <laughs> great option. I am in really unfamiliar territory here because I'm holding an Ibanez Gem Junior. Um, I don't spend a huge amount of time with Floyd Rose type uh, sort of shred style Ibanez guitars. Um, I spend far more time playing Les Pauls and Strats and things. Uh, but they are definitely the tool for the job if you're a big sort of metal fan or um, a fan of players like Steve Vai. Um, and I think I'd certainly not tell anybody if you are into that and that's what you want to do, there's no need to start with a Strat or anything more simple. But uh, these Floyd Rose equipped guitars uh, with locking nuts and things are a little bit more technical in, and that it's a little bit harder to change strings on them and keep them in tune and things. Um, I think if I was in my first couple of years of playing with one of these sorts of guitars, I'd probably have uh, the chap downstairs that runs the shop restringing it for me um, and just making sure it's set up correctly. So they're a much more specific tool, but again, it's a great option. Ibanez really know what they're doing. The Gem Junior is the sort of affordable one in the range. Um, and I see a lot of these as a teacher um, and if that's the sort of style of playing and style of music you're into um, I think the, the Gem Dune is a really really nice quality instrument um, certainly a really comfortable neck on these instruments really really easy to play <laughs> So this is a Squire Bullet Stratocaster and it's the cheapest electric guitar in the shop. And I know because when we started this morning I walked in and said, what's your cheapest guitar? Uh, I get asked a lot um, you know, how much you have to spend or how little you can get away with spending to get a guitar that still does the job. Uh, now, I'm not affiliated with the shop or with Squire or Fender or anybody else. Uh, would I rather have the Godin that we started with? Absolutely, but it is many times more expensive than this. Um, and if you are on a budget, the Squire Bullet is a really reliable guitar that sounds okay, certainly easy to play. Um, I think, without question, the budget end of the spectrum now is a lot better than it was 10 or 15 years ago. Um, <laughs> The reason I wanted to show you the cheapest guitar in the shop as well is other places and online and, and um, there are other sellers and other ways of buying a guitar that is cheaper than this. The reason this is the least expensive guitar in the shop is because it's the cheapest guitar that the shop can find that's still reliable and playable and it's really sad as a teacher when you see somebody um, where they sound awful and it's not their fault, it's because their guitar just isn't fit for purpose. Uh, so I think these squires are a really great option for um, anyone with sort of uh, younger students looking to get into guitar. Um, the nice thing about buying it from a shop rather than online as well is it's been checked that it's easy to play. The, the action, the distance between the strings and the fretboard is nice and low. And as I say, um, does it sound quite as good as a couple of the other guitars today that are several times the price? No, not quite, but it is easy to get a good sound out of it.
that's a really important point as well. We are plugged into a Marshall MG15 amplifier today. Um, again, because I walked in and asked for a recommendation from the shop. But the amplifier is easily half the sound. Um, and a really great guitar through a cheap amp will still sound relatively awful. Uh, they do a version of the Marshall with effects built in if it's your first amplifier for you to start exploring the world of effects and different sounds as well. Um, but it sounded pretty good today. We've put it through its paces with several different guitars um, and it sounds like a perfectly reasonable uh, first amplifier for anybody of any age and experience. So check those out. I was drawn to this as soon as I walked in today because I love these Martin style mahogany topped acoustics. Um, I think they look and sound great. And this was recommended to me because it's a Rathbone guitar and Rathbone are only available in guitar shops, they're not available online. Uh, which I think is a great way of guitar manufacturers supporting local shops. And it's fantastic. Um, there's a real dynamic range and a volume that you expect in a much more expensive instrument and the neck on this is super comfortable to play. So I think if you're looking for your first acoustic guitar, this is a really nice option. Um, I've been playing this quite a bit this morning and really enjoying it actually. One thing to say about it is when I started playing, just about all of the acoustic guitars I saw were big uh, Martin style dreadnoughts. And seeing these sm slightly smaller bodied guitars uh, becoming more popular, they are more versatile for playing fingerstyle and playing a wide range of styles. Uh, there's more to acoustic guitar than just strumming big open chords and I think it's often a lot easier with a slightly smaller bodied instrument. Um, but yeah, definitely check these out. Which brings us on to our last guitar, which is by Mayton. Uh, definitely the most expensive guitar we've looked at today. We are talking well over a thousand pounds. But one of the things that I hear people say a lot from mature students is, well, I could afford it, but I'll buy a cheap guitar first to see how I get on and then buy something expensive if I get good. And I tend to think life's too short. Um, if you have the budget, Nice quality acoustic guitars are a real joy to play and however simple whatever you're playing is on them it's going to sound better on a really nice quality acoustic that you can keep for years and will serve you well. So if you have the budget and it's an option, go out and play loads of different guitars to find something that speaks to you. Um, Maiton are most uh, probably best known for being associated with Tommy Emmanuel they're really easy to play. Uh, the necks on these guitars in particular are incredible. Um, but they have the dynamic range and the sweetness that you'd expect on any guitar in this price range. Um, so I've been playing this quite a lot this morning and really enjoying it. But treat yourself. Go out and buy um, something that takes up most of your budget. Uh, you won't regret it and it will serve you for years. Also, if you do get into guitar, you're probably going to spend um, on a more expensive instrument at some point in the close future anyway, so it stops you buying twice. And I think you're more likely to spend more time practicing on an instrument that sounds really great. Um, and yeah, these maintenance are a real uh, contender and an option for anyone luckily enough to be in that price bracket. I hope that's been useful today. Thank you so much to Bath Place Music for letting us take over the place. Uh, we will put descriptions and prices for all of these guitars uh, in the description to this video. If you are local to Taunton, um, come and check them out because they're really knowledgeable and friendly. They've got some great guitars in stock. Um, 
if you are in the market for a new guitar, go and talk to your local guitar shop. Play everything that's in your budget to get an idea of how things sound and how they feel and how they look. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about these specific instruments, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and look out for more videos we do.